Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here in Diablo 3 with my good friend Pale Moon to show you the... Not the cow level, actually. Which you can get to if you have the Kane's Cube unlocked. You just go walk up to that, put the bovine bar dish in that and press transmute. You will get a witty remark from Salt and Cool and you get a portal with a disclaimer. Which leads to a place that does not exist. And if you go in and not click on your flag which is right behind it, you will end up in not the cow level. Which is full of resplendent chests and shrines. And of course, you might have guessed it. Cows. Lots and lots of cows. Including the Cow Queen and the Ghost of the Cow King. And this basically is exactly the same level like it was in Diablo 2. Or even Diablo 1? Diablo 1 it was, with herds of cows. Turns out it was Diablo 2, not Diablo 1. Ah, underestimated the graphics then, in my memory. And as you can see, lots and lots of loot chests. See if we can find the Cow King again or Cow Queen. Or if it really will just pop up one time since we've been here one time before. Come on, die already. I wonder I wondered last time if that tree has a sub. Uh, special meaning. That was in the old level as well. I can remember. The level is not that big in total, but it's not the smallest either. You see, we stick to the edges. Interestingly, no rare enemy yet. We had quite a lot of them last time. Quest. Ghost of the Cow King. I will just activate that. And there is the Cow Queen. And tons of enemies. And of course my jump thingy is not ready yet. Right when I need it. I'm also not sure if you can even get here if you're not playing a seasonal hero. Can you? Might work. You at least need that item. If you have that item and you have the cube, then you're ready to get here. But be, be it as it be, don't disenchant the bovine bodies since you will need it to get in here. There we go. That wasn't that much loot. But the infernal hurt is not dead yet. There. Oh yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. We get some special rewards for that. This one here. Chest madness. Still needs more uniques. Or Apex, or Legendary, or whatever you call them these days. Oh, there we go. Should say that more often.
Oops, inventory completely filled up. I'm returning to town. What did we get? We got a convention of elements. Blah 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 blah. Looks good. And even with socket, so now can put more of the unique gems in it. And since we just reached level 70, I have to check all the items for improved stats. Hey, slightly more damage. Oop. Even more slightly more damage, but I don't switch my pants yet. Trousers? Legs. <laughs> yes, I don't switch my legs. <laughs> since I don't want to replace that unique just yet. Oh, that was a set ring. I will put it in the bank. And off we go. Yeah, with the cube you can store the effects of unique items. Of course, that will cost you the item, but you can then freely choose between the effects that you want to permanently add to your character. You can just have one for a weapon effect, one for an armor effect, and one for a ring or amulet effect. As you can see here. But it's a nice addition. If you have a unique that's just too weak but has a lovely effect, you can just add it to the collection and then use the effect permanently. In addition to what you're just using. of reflection. Not ready yet. Oh yeah, and those farmers always have quite a lot of gold in their pockets. through and again one of those gold farmers 18,000 gold And a chest. And another shrine, even an experience shrine. Very good. Ah, I just missed the crowd. Next Paragon level. Wonderful, even if I don't plan to level up the next season character that much. Not yet. There we have a unique. So not the use of the That is a good one. <laughs> another chest and another shrine. I'm 
overburdened. What? Inventory full already. Damn it. I need to go back. Okay, back to town it is once more. I need to go back. My quick look through revealed nothing, nothing of interest. Well, I might have replaced the head at some point, but I'm using the Sage's set to get more death breath for the moment, since that is needed, five of those to disenchant one of the unique items and get their attributes used. You need five of those and when you just reach level 70 you're a little bit short on those. So that should help with that, at least for the moment. You can't use the set bony in the cube, by the way. What you should be able to use is the attribute of the ring set that says you need one less set item for the set bonus to work. That thing. And I guess quite a lot will use that ring's bonus. Because it's basically a must-have, from my point of view. Oh, come on. Click, click. Loot, loot. So, nearly done. Just one small part of the map left. Then we all can go about our business. Just one more chest. Yeah. And that's it for not the cow level. Psst, it is actually the cow level. So, I think we are done here. Oh, you can't even dance in Diablo by now. Well, look at that. Okay. So, thank you for watching, see you on the next video, have a nice day, bye bye.